big monster. Hello. Okay, we're in Epcot and we're waiting for my mother and sister to use the restroom quickly. And as you can tell, we're definitely in Epcot because we're right underneath the big ball, golf ball. Okay, so. Okay, we're on the move. We're gonna head to Soren. Sure, come on. At the little restaurant area. Okay, I'll be, we'll be there soon. Okay, we were just in the Disney Art Studio, and now we're heading over to Soren, which we don't know where we're going. See you there. Okay, we just arrived at the land, and here's the little restaurant down there, and the living with the land. Here's Anya. <laughs> I'm taking pictures today. He's, he's doing the, the vlogging. Yeah, vlogging. There's the Josh. There's the mom. There's there's the Harley, the little grumpy Harley. Okay, we are entering Cern and um, there's a little quiz. Ah, oh, the man can't see it anymore. Can't see it anymore. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Well, see you if there's any like cool things I want to tape. Bye. Okay, we just finished Sharn. It was awesome because this is my name. And we are now heading over to the little restaurant to um, uh, get a little snack. I'll uh, see you there. Okay, we just sat down and we're about to go look at the menu once the girls get back from the menu. See you at the menu. The majestic balloons and the football shaped little circle up there. Okay, we just got our food and mine looks delicious since we're having a very big dinner and I'll. Uh. Lunch. What? This is lunch, basically, it's just a little like snack lunch. Here's a Milo meal. Sour little meal. There's Anya and my mom's meal because they like sharing. Yeah, and it, it looks what, delicious. What is, what is it? And we but this is a turkey meatball with a pasta and with mm, I don't know how to say the other word. Marinara sauce. Yeah. There's my chocolate milk cookie. That cookie, chocolate milk, and I just. Chopsticks. Are they going to show their food? Uh, Dad doesn't like being on the camera. Okay, we, I just finished my food. I think we're all done here. Everyone's plates are cleared. Um, Anya over here uh, threw away all the little stuff. And I still have your stuff. Where are we going next? Egg. We are going to Living with the Land, I think it's called. It's right over there. And it's going to be a terrific time. Okay, we just have um, uh, I know. We just have um, uh, we ju We just got on to uh, the Big the Land and we'll be uh, videotaping this entire operation and here we go. We
one of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life. Look at the These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface. But they contain more than half of the planet. Oh, look at that video too, right? Rainforests are also extremely rich in the living systems. Oh, look at Mr. Alley. Oh, big bug. Oh, friend. <laughs> hey, look at we're in Arizona again. surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Hey look, it's Oliver. and research center to space sustainable agriculture biotechnology crop production How will we integrated pest management and agriculture some of the answers are being discovered just ahead to help us maintain hey, look, the next control ecosystems and for your safety please remain seated in your boat at all times are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of them oh, are tea. Bananas, cacao, rice. coffee, and rice are well known around the world. Hey, look at, rocks are 
these are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Vegetable. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for Banana. Bananas. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular. Fishies! A lot of fishies in here. Oh, big one. When you fish a farm, you probably don't think of fish. But fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed in Google. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable yeah, fish that one, huh? here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Catfish! More catfish! Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Shrimp! More shrimp! I can eat! Eat a Mickey! Eat a Mickey! And still protect natural resources. Shrimp. Okay, back to the plants. Neem. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Where? But how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Tomatoes! Tomatoes! Sugar cane. These plants are supposed to grow their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. Hey, here comes another hidden Mickey. Populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like it's aphids it's and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional and pesticides. And We're growing new crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. Oh, it does it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Cucumbers! Cucumbers! More cucumbers! Cucumber! 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 Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better Pepper. control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land. Lots of watermelon. Trust me, you will love watermelon. If you haven't tried it before. It looks like a humongous weed. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional Cat growing day. methods. Cat that day. saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines so hydroponics loud. with aquaculture. The fish provide a My natural source of fertilizer for Where? the plants, and the plants oh, help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. 
Potatoes, tomatoes, wheat, green beans, blueberries, corn, wheat, tomatoes, seeds, and meats. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the behind the scenes World. walking tour. It's I thought it was a block, but it's not. It was a circle. In our laboratory. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. I will see you next time Mr. Stitch is out. Goodbye. Oh wait, hold on. Bye, now, right now. Okay, we just finished living with the land and now we're heading towards the seas, the tragic seas. I'll see you there. Mr. Stitch is out. See ya. We have some change of plans. We still have an hour until our fast pass for the seas, the tragic seas. So, we are now going, uh... Not the seas, you don't have fast the seas. Oh, well, I don't know what... Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth, I mean. We're going up big things. And right now we're going on... The... Imagination Institute. Imagination Institute with Figment, and a 30 minute wait, and it should be like... A five minute wait, probably, I don't know. We should uh, be uh, uh, We should be there in around uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, because uh, their lines are usually shorter than usual. Mr. Stitch out. Bye. And this is where we're going. We suddenly came. Uh, we suddenly came upon all the professors um uh, little rooms and there is Wayne Solinski's right over there shrieking stuff. There's Professor Philip Brainerd and he is a leopard party. Uh, no, Figment? Yeah, he has Figment. Are you sure? <laughs> Here's Dean Higgins, I don't know what he's famous for. Oh, there's a Buzz Lightyear in there. There is? Where? Cage. Cage. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is. Buzz Lightyear. Also, I hit him again. <laughs> if you see toys like that, and things like that, it's a hit him again. We just, um, uh, just sat down, and we were ready to go on a choo-choo train. Of redness, my favorite color. <laughs> Sensory laboratories. Today's theme: How to capture your imagination. Dr. Nigel Chen. Ha ha. It's beautiful. Let's go. 
Didn't they remove this from uh Welcome, welcome, other? welcome to our special drive-through open house. I'm Dr. Michael Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello, on your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. Their sight, sound, smell, touch, goochie goochie go, and taste. Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Oh, Left, yeah. right. What? This is on. Um, hello? Hello! Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. Next stop, imagination. For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. And each of us imagines different things from just a sound. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three and hit the cat. You can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. I say imagination must be captured and controlled. Uh -huh. Imagination works better when it's set free. <laughs> Join them! We all have sparks! 
magic sparks from me and you. <laughs> you see, Doc, I knew you'd get it, because you've got a wonderful imagination. I do? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Figment. So, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! Stitch is out. Bye. So on Mission Earth, um, uh, it actually is 20 minutes when I finished. I just had to do my magic band real quick. So, on Mission Earth, it does tell the truth on how long it is. It's probably around 60 minutes since it's 20. So it's basically all right. This is like the longest fast fast line ever. No way. No, I think dinosaur was. Yeah, dinosaur. We didn't record it because it was longer than standby. About halfway to our destination for the ride mission Earth and Spaceship Earth, by the way. And we're underneath a giant golf ball. Which is actually the ride. So this should be entertaining. I see electricity up ahead. It's really, 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 really bright. I don't want to point over there. But look at the picture. How man evolved. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. Please take small children out of the way. And watch. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. Stop being watch your children.
Fridays are fried. We've been inventing it for two months.
ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Okay. We're a little stuck. Um, in, uh, eight... Around 1700 to 1800. That mail boy over there saying extra, extra civil war over. Please remain seated. Your vehicle will begin moving immediately. And remain here we go. seated, please. Our travels are resuming now. Our numbers ones and zeros. The matrix. The matrix. Here it comes. The favorite is after 13,000 years of time. For your return to Earth, your time machine is now rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention, you are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention, travelers. So we're at the campground. Oh, that is a pretty one. Day three, 1999. Day three, 1999. <laughs> yes, a polka dotted horse spotted me in the tragic story of Soren. Going to Soren. Going to campground Soren. Okay, we're just kidding. Okay, we're going on our little golf cart ride all the way over. Oh my gosh, it's about be over here now. Why? Why me? Okay, we're going back to our campground around El Yellow. 
Yeah, it's not an actual outpost. It's actually just a big, long, long road. <sighs> Let's go! Reporting on loop two hundred. Thank you. Two thousand two hundred and two thousand eight hundred loops and wilderness pool. As you can see, there's nothing over. I know it's weird, right? Okay, golf cart. We're looking for deer. It's on your quest. To be the best to find the deers. The deer owns? I've seen three. <laughs> I've seen ten. Ben. Yeah, every loop has their name. Fortunately, the last sign didn't say their name. Okay, right turn, flight. Right turn to loop 600 and 1,300. Don't worry about signaling. I'll just turn. Oh. I wanted to mention it. Sign! Right turn. Ah, ah, ah. I can give a fuck if you fall off. I don't care. <laughs> You take care of yourself. Your right is my left, by the way. Remember? I don't care. You go offline. We're not going backwards. We're going backwards. We're definitely going backwards. You have to figure that out. Hey, look at Alamo. We're behind them like they're not hot. Buffalo Bend, 500 
And here's us. Oh. oh. We're clear. We're good. Blurg. Carly, hush. I don't think a squirrel is important. Stop. Yeah, let me hit the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Random people. So yeah, ooh, tree right off the bed. Termites too. That's great. So, yep, that's basically where we live. And Mr. Stitch out for this video. Goodbye. Yeah.